Hey everybody and welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Grant, this is Jeanette, Hello. and we are live in the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen and today we're celebrating a very special day. We today are. is TGI Friday. Oh. That's right, it's all things french fries today. Today we're going to show you not one, not two, not three, but four, four. french fry recipes. Yes, it's such an exciting day in here. French fries are my favorite food, so I'm really glad we're celebrating. We posed this really fun question to you guys yesterday. We made a video, and we asked you what your favorite condiment to dip french fries in was. And so many of you wrote in. Thank you so much. We're about to reveal the winner, but we want to remind you guys to comment with us while we're cooking today. Let us know some more condiments that you guys like to dip your french fries totally. in. Let us know your favorite way to eat french fries. We're talking for the next few minutes about french fries, so we want to hear from you guys. And I think we're ready to reveal our big winner from yesterday. Do you guys want to hear it? I it's think so. Ketchup. Yes. Ketchup won. And ketchup is, is my favorite. Nice? Is ketchup your favorite? Ketchup is my favorite. Uh, I think it's so just good. perfect to go with a salty french fry. Exactly. Um, and we also had a ton of comments from you guys um, telling us other things that you dip your um, french fries in. It. So we wrote a couple of those down. We're going to shout you guys out today. So if you commented yesterday, um, keep watching because we might mention you today. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to get started on our first is it time? french fry recipe. Right? I'll, I'll, do, I'll hold this while you're oh, doing yeah, yours. Just, <laughs> just hold that, will you? <laughs> Um, so I'm actually going to make three different, I like to call them shake fries. Ooh. And basically what I'm going to do is just fry up some french fries. You could also bake them if you wanted to. And then put them into a big brown paper bag with a bunch of seasonings yes. and just shake them up. I love that. So they're just going to get nice and coated in a bunch of seasonings. It's sort of like turning your french fries into potato chips, which is really awesome, I think. We want to start Friday Friday off saying hi to Tashina. Tush How Tushina. are you? Hello, Tashina. Thanks for commenting. Happy Friday Friday. Um, so this recipe that I'm getting started on right now is going to be a ranch french fry. So I'm going to put all of the ranch seasonings that you would typically have in ranch dressing on top of a french fry. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to serve it with ketchup as chosen by you guys. Yes. And um, I might spice up the ketchup a little bit too. Oh um, yeah, you've got a great so recipe. So what we're going to do, I have some brown paper bags back here. You could just use, use one of your grocery store bags. You could also do this in a bowl, but I just like the idea of a bag. I like shaking I it up fun. too. Yeah. I think we have, we have a lot of fun shaking things up. All right, so I'm going to put the fries straight into this bag from the fryer. Ooh, hot fries. Um, Rhonda commented and she, she said that she loves Rachel Ray, as do we. Oh, so we do love we. Rachel Ray. We love, and you know what Rachel Ray loves? What? French fries. She loves French fries. She loves fries. <laughs> she loves oven fries. Jeanette's actually going to make it. I am. I'm going to make right? chili cheese fries that you could eat for dinner. I'm challenging yeah. you all. Um, and all these recipes are going to be up on the Facebook page a little bit later, so make sure you check all those out. Um, this ranch shake up fries go, might fries. be my new favorite french fry recipe know, right? so i'm letting the oil drain off of those fries just a tiny bit and i'm going to put all of our seasonings in here i just put in the fresh chopped parsley and mm -hmm. i'm going to add in some onion powder some garlic powder some dried dill and some chi uh, dried chives kimberly said that she likes to mix together thousand island and ranch Ooh, I'm not sure I ever, I ever had that combination. And Sharon commented from New Zealand. Ooh, hello, hello New Zealand. Hello, Sharon. Happy Friday, Friday to you. What's your favorite, um, besides ketchup, like what's some of your favorite things to put on french fries? On top of french fries? Yeah. I love a chili fry. I actually love a buffalo fry. Oh, I do too. You make, like, Rachel makes this really delicious buffalo chicken chili. Um, it's actually one of her most popular recipes of all time. Yes. Um, but I've actually made that before and put it on top of fries. Yum. So it's like a buffalo chili fry with like blue cheese and celery leaves on top. So really yummy. yummy. Susan commented that she likes balsamic and red wine vinegar and black pepper and Rachel puts it on a burger. Oh, that, that actually, that, that's a really great topping. Rachel puts that on a burger. I love that balsamic yeah. ketchup that she makes. It's so yummy. So I have our ranch seasonings down in here and now I'm just going to put in all of our fries. You have to be careful when you shake this up because they are a little hot. Yes. Fries everywhere. It's the, the best floor. day of work ever. <laughs> Athena commented from Florida and she said that she loves you and that she wants to cook together one day. Ooh, well, you're welcome in our kitchen anytime. Come on up, Athena. Athena. We're just in New York um, City. Jeanette, do you want to do the honors? I want to do the honors. It smells like my old snack bar days in here. I used to work in a snack bar when I was a teenager yeah. and we threw everything in the fryer. That's what it smells like in here today. Um, you know what's funny? I, one of my very first jobs was at a fast food restaurant, and one of the first things I was taught how to do was to, fr to um, fry the french fries. And the lady who was teaching me didn't have eyebrows, and I was so scared. <laughs> and I was like, what, how, what happened? Like, was it a frying accident? I'm quit and so I was like one. terrified to fry french fries for a really long time. Oh my god, I love it. I'm glad you've gotten over your fear in that. Yeah. We're I, all getting to learn. I didn't work in fast food very long because I went too slow, because I wanted to, the food to look really pretty, so I didn't last too long. In my very first I'm gonna job. check on these. It smells so good. Um, so yesterday when we asked you guys what your favorite condiment was, um, Amanda Simminger commented and said that she loves buffalo sauce on her fries. So I'm gonna turn my um, ketchup into a buffalo ketchup and add in some hot sauce. Yeah. Whoops. I feel like Facebook 
Blanche was turning the things that Jeanette can shake. Yesterday we were shaking up some Prosecco, which was a frozen Prosecco drink, which was so fun. We made Frosé last week. Yeah. We've got some cocktails to shake up today. It's just a lot of shaking. You know Karina what? Oh, sorry. Karina commented and she said that garlic Parmesan wedges are her favorite. That's actually the next fire recipe you're going to make, right? Yeah. I'm going to make a garlic Parmesan so fry. So And Jessica says, happy Friday from Montreal. Thanks for coming. Happy and Jessica, Friday. happy Friday. You know, I was going to say, I think we love to shake things because it's a good workout. It is. Exactly. Like working out and cooking. <laughs> We're only eating French fries on to be okay. under here. Look at that. Smell, smell how good that smells. Oh my god, it smells like ranch. Let's let's dump it these guys like out. Smells like a packet of ranch. Yes. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Look at those ranchy fries. Ah, Don't those look delicious? So With some good. spicy buffalo ketchup. We'll put those right there. Let, let me, I let just me dropped in something, but I'm not even going to pick it up because I'm going to eat a fry It's Friday, instead. Friday. Shelly says, um, try, oh, she likes to dip her fries in a chocolate frosty. I oh, totally yum. did that as a kid, too. I love that. I Shelly, love you're a genius. Oh, yeah, great. And hi to Caitlin from the great state of Ohio. Hello, Caitlin. O-H. I-O. Yes. I'm from Jersey, but I learned it. Jessica says that she likes ranch on her french fries. Well, Jessica, you got to try these because these ranch these. fries are legit. Um, so I think, you're, Jeanette, you're actually going to get started on I'm your I'm going to get right started now, on my fry, yes. And I, um, there's, I'm warning you all right now. I know our friend Rach talks often about girl math. There's a whole lot. There's a like girl calculus going on in here today because I am taking things to, like I said, french fries are one of my favorite foods. It's like one of those foods that like, when I'm not, when I'm not trying to eat, when I'm trying to eat healthy, I can't resist them. I, like, I have to eat french fries. They're just crispy and on the side of my plate. It's, it's my weakness. It's my Achilles heel. So I'm always thinking of ways of how I can eat some of my favorite foods, but like also still be healthy. So I'm taking a lot of, I'm taking a lot of turns on this one. I'm making chili cheese fries. But I'm going to, there's more Sorry, fries, more fryer. fries in the fryer. <laughs> Just um, do some fryers. So I'm making some chili cheese fries today. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off, I'm going to show you, I learned this technique from Rachel. She makes oven fries. Yum. And that's just, it's basically, they're French, they're potatoes that are just cut like fries, but they're just roasted potatoes. So you're not making anything, you're not deep frying it. They're, they're pretty healthy. Yeah. I mean, potatoes aren't unhealthy for you in moderation. So what you do is you take um, just some like russet potatoes. You, you have them and then you cut into them. Let me move this so you guys can see that. You guys take a, take a sharp knife and you cut into them on an angle so that you're making a wedge. See that? that I know. I learned this from Rachel, and so um, I like to. Um, I just I, I do four potatoes, and this is like I mean this is really a dinner portion of French fries. Yeah. Um, but you know this would feed a crowd if you had like a party, and who totally. doesn't? Who wouldn't eat chili cheese fries at a party? Yeah. Carla commented and said that she loves ketchup, mayo, and sriracha Ooh, mixed that together. That sounds so. Good. That sounds really yummy. I love a spicy ketchup. Yummy. And Gita commented, maybe it's Gita. Or it could be Rita. I don't know. Commented and said that uh, she's eating French fries Ooh, right now. Oh, how lucky are you? So lucky are we. You. This is the. I just said to everybody in the room before we started. Today's my cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a good cheat day from time to time. Today is my cheat day. I was gonna say today's my cheat day too, but then I remembered that I ate like four hot dogs yesterday. <laughs> So I think that it's like a cheat week. It's a cheat maybe. week. I know. It's I'm constantly the end of cheating. Summer. I'm exactly. such a cheater. Um, <laughs> Wendell um, asked if I uh, do. I still have eyebrows. I think I do. You do. Yeah. Yep. Two. Two of them. <laughs> um, and Diana loves uh, fries with truffle oil and oh, parmesan. Yum. Um, Rachel makes truffle fries. She every does. Morning. I she love really truffle fries. Um, so okay. So I I just um cord I just wedged up a bunch of potatoes and I like to toss them in a bowl. Because you really get the oil coated everything. I did about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm using Rachel's 24-7 everyday seasoning. She makes these Ooh, awesome yeah. um, seasonings in the grinders, which are so fun. And this is like, it has everything but the kitchen sink in it. It's got like cumin, red pepper, black pepper, some chili powder, um, and coriander. It's just a really nice flavor. I put it on so many things yeah, that I, I cook. I was going to say, that's, it's... I mean, like it says, it's 24-7. It's 24-7. Put it on everything. any time of the day for pretty so much So I like anything. to put a ton on here and just give these like a really nice toss. You can use grilled seasoning as well. Just some salt and pepper too. Um, Ezra commented and said that she loves um, nacho cheese and bacon, bacon on her fries. Oh, yum. Yummy. I love cheese um, And Sanchez loves fries with pepper jack cheese, sour cream, and oh. avocado. Like a Yummy. taco fry? That sounds delicious. That wasn't even something Avocados we consider. Avocados on a fry sounds really, yes, really good. Yes, please. Or guacamole on fries. <sighs> Guaca fries. All right, so I put this on the biggest sheet tray that I have at home just because you want to give your french fries, you don't want to crowd the pan because otherwise they're not going to brown nicely. Yeah, I've made the mistake of like making oven fries and putting too many on a pan and yeah. they never get crispy. No. They just turn into like a big like 
slumpy mess. Exactly, like exactly. You might as well be a mashed potato. I'm going to pop these in the oven at 425 for about 35 to 40 minutes, maybe halfway through giving them a little toss so that they um, crisp up on both sides. I'm going to wash up. Why don't I think it's time for a shake fry number two? Yeah, totally. So we were um, actually oh, wait, we're no. going to make something. It's getting kind of hot in here. It right? is getting. <laughs> we're frying a bunch of stuff. Um, but since we're talking French fries today, French fries are made out of potatoes. And you know what else is made out of potatoes? Vodka. Vodka. <laughs> so we're going to make a little vodka drink. Um, and this is what I like to call a sweet tea um, vodka. So I'm going to add in some uh, two slices of lemon, a couple peaches, because peaches are so delicious mm. right now. They're all over the markets, too. Yeah. Um, and they're and whenever anything's in season, not only is it delicious, but it's so much cheaper than it normally So is. you're very right. Um, so I'm putting in some peaches and some lemon. And this is a sweet tea drink, so I'm adding in some sugar. Um, if you don't like it sweet, you could skip this. Or if you like it really sweet, if you're from the South, because the Southerners love their sweet tea, yeah. you can add extra sugar to this if you want. Um, I think that's why I love this drink, because you can pretty much just make it for your taste. Um, you could throw some mint in here, some basil would be really yummy. Wendy um, says that she loves rosemary, garlic, rosemary and garlic potato wedges, like the wedges that oh, I just yeah. made. That's a really nice combination. Annie says that she loves her french fries with corned beef hash. Ooh, yummy. Yum. That, that, sounds, that sounds like a way to eat french fries for breakfast. And Donna says hi from North Carolina. Hi, Donna. Thanks for watching. Um, so I just added a shot of vodka into here, and I'm going to top it off with some ice. Just like that. And we've done this on, the, um, on our Facebook Live before, where we make cocktails in a mason jar. I think it's a really fun way to do it because that way you're not shaking up all of your cocktails. You just kind of shake them and then you drink them. So this is a great thing to make for a party. So you don't have to shake your drinks for a bunch of guests. Exactly. So just, you know, shake them just themselves. Just hand them the mason jar and say shake it yourself. So here you I go, like Jeanette. That. You can shake up your um, you. sweet peach tea vodka and I'll shake mine up. Marie comments and she said, hey, love y'all. <laughs> love y'all too, Marie. We love y'all too. Um, Rachel commented and said she loves fries with hickory sauce, bacon, cheese, and sour Ooh. cream. It looks like a barbecue fry. Yes. And Grace loves adding hot sauce and barbecue sauce to her ketchup. I like that as well. I like I that. Love I love flavoring up too. your ketchups. It's you know what else I idea. love? Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try our peachy vodka. Tommy says, <laughs> mm, yummy, vodka. Buddy. Tommy, we're with you. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, buddy. I can't wait to try this. Thank you. Cheers. cheers. And ha cheers to you guys. Happy Thanks Friday, Friday. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. That's very so refreshing. Good. I got a lemon seed. So, so <laughs> yummy. Rachel commented in and she said that she loves to watch us. Thank you, oh, Rachel. For we watching. have a ton of fun back here, so thank you for we watching. We totally do. Thank you for watching. Um, so. Oh, this is so refreshing. Like, and you use, you, I just was watching him before this. He fresh brewed some nice tea, put some tea from like a tea bag. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's so, so good. And you could totally use store bought tea or if you like flavored teas, if you have like a peach flavored tea, yeah. you could totally use that as oh well. Oh, my gosh. So refreshing. Um, so now I'm getting started over here on our second shake fry. This one is a garlic parmesan fry. Yeah. So when we asked you guys yesterday what you like to dip your fries in, um, Tisha Phillips commented and said that she loves to make um, garlic fries. So I'm going to make some garlic fries for oh. you, Tisha. So, so good. We got in so many people who wrote in yesterday. Yeah. Um, one of, I, I, I wanted to shout out Beth Blinn. She said that she'd like to dip her fries in tartar sauce. Oh, and when yeah. we posed the question, mayo or ketchup, people got so creative. Like, may, tartar sauce is just like mayo with some relish, maybe a little citrus in it. Yeah. So why wouldn't dipping your fries in tartar sauce be so delicious? And Judy Williams commented that she loves malt vinegar, and that might be like one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, it totally. just reminds me of being at the beach and like eating the fries on the boardwalk, those fresh cut fries, and just d soaking them in malt malt vinegar. Yeah. I could talk about french fries all day. I, know, I really right? love french fries subject. so much. I know. Um, if you guys are just now tuning in, today we're celebrating all things fry yes. and I'm getting started on our second fry shake up recipe. Mm -hmm. And in this big brown paper bag, I have some fresh chopped parsley, some dried oregano, some lemon zest, and now I'm going to add in some fried fries. Yes. You could also use baked fries if you want. Right down into here. <laughs> Jennifer comments and she said, you got to love those liquid potatoes. <laughs> I love a liquid potato. Cheers to you, Jennifer. And Caroline said that she loves cheese curds, brown gravy, hot sauce, and vinegar. Ooh, yummy. I wonder if she's from Wisconsin, because I know that that's a big love cheese, cheese curds. curds. Oh, but like poutine in, uh, up in uh, Canada. Yeah. That's like their national dish. Their national dish is French fries. That's amazing. That is just a lucky country. Uh, Marie says that uh, she's asking when the new season starts of the Rachel Ooh. Ray show, and that starts in September 12th. Yeah, not too far away. We're not. We're getting closer. We're, yeah, we're already working on some episodes, testing some recipes. We're getting started. Got lots going on for season 11. Um, so I'm, and down into this paper bag, I just grated up some garlic over top of the hot french fries. Oh. I like to put them on the french fries while they're still hot because it kind of cooks the garlic yes, a little bit. Yes, I love that. And I'm going to add in a bunch of Parmesan cheese. Mm. And I'm just going to shake this up. Yeah. So good. 
Katie is asking how often we do live shows. Um, we've been doing a ton of them this summer. We've been yeah. having so much fun. You can go back on the Facebook page and catch so many. We've been popping Tuesday. We've done no cook meals. We've done healthy meals. We've got tons and tons of stuff up on the Facebook page. Um, but we're back next week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. If yeah. you want to catch us again next week. Check out these garlic oh. parmesan fries. Oh my God. I'm going in already. I know he's getting his dipping, but. And then I like to dip these, since they're garlic parmesan fries, they're sort of like garlic nuts, so I like to dip them in a little warm marinara sauce. Oh, Graham. Check that out. Doesn't that look yummy? I, I'm, like so, I'm just so happy. <laughs> mm. So good. It's hard to continue cooking and doing this while we have all these french fries in front of us. Anybody, Can any we just of you, take a five minute break? Any of you want to come in and finish this while we eat french fries? Um, Rachel commented and said her daughter Shannon is a big fan, um, and they've been watching R.R. since Aww, she was born. that's so nice. That's really fun. Um, and Richard loves fries with bacon bits, scallions, and lime juice. Ooh. Yummy. I love that. All right. All right, what's next? I don't know. <laughs> Those are so delicious. They taste like if you go to a restaurant and you um, are looking for, like, if you get, like, truffle fries or Parmesan fries, I, they charge, like, $12 for a big portion of that. Is like nothing. You use frozen fries from the store. So, so good. Laura says, happy Friday. Friday from Irvine. Mm, Hello, Laura. Oh. And Nikki says she's having fries right now seasoned with salt and dill and dipping them in cheese. Ooh, yum. Nikki, Nikki that's it, such girl. a great idea. That sounds delicious. All right, so like I said, we're kind of in the process of um, making my um, girl calculus, as we're calling it today, because these things aren't things that you'd normally eat for dinner. These are chili cheese fries, but I've lightened them up in any way I can. I'm really like turning every corner, taking every corner to lighten things up. So I'm making my chili next. You saw me before, I just, I just used ground turkey breast actually to keep the protein high and the fat low. And then I seasoned it with a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of cumin, a little coriander, and a little bit of oregano. And then I took one way, a small white onion, and I just toss that into here. And now I'm just gonna, when I'm making my chili, I normally add like t like diced tomatoes or a juicier tomato um, from a can or something. But I'm using a lot of tomato paste because since it's gonna go on the french fries, I didn't want it to be soggy. Yeah, totally. So it's gonna just be like a tighter chili. That's such a um, good tip. Yeah, you don't want your it, french fries to get all soggy. You don't. Be nice and crispy, right? Exactly, nice crispy fries. Um, Karen commented and said, more garlic and more vodka. <laughs> That might be my new mantra. Yeah. <laughs> Garlic and vodka for everyone. Um, and Rebecca said, um, any sweet potato fries? I was waiting for someone to comment. Yeah, we I love sweet, love potato, sweet fries. potato fries. Yes. Um, I used to work at a, um, a diner when I was in high school, and we had sweet potato fries, and we served them with caramel on top. So they were like dessert fries. Oh, stop that. Yeah, they were yummy. That sounds so good. Um, and Pamela from Lexington, Kentucky says, looks good. Thanks, Pamela. We it think you look too. great. It, does, it smells good, too. <laughs> Um, all right, so I just deglaze this with a little bit of beer, and then I'm gonna throw in about a, about a cup and a half to two cups of some low sodium chicken stock. Again, we're really, we're really, we're lending ourselves to this being a healthy chili. This chili would be great on its own too, or over some nachos. Mm -hmm. You know, we love our nachos too. Um, Lisa from Wilmington, North Carolina says yummy. And Hi, hello. Lisa. Hello, and it's yummy. <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> um, and Donna said she loves chili cheese with onions, tomatoes, and pickles on her fries. Yum. Pickles on fries sounds delicious. Uh, what? Uh, uh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, I've got nothing like, to say. That sounds so good. <laughs> um, all right, so I just I added the beer and I added the, chi the chicken stock. I'm going to let this, once it comes up to a bubble, I'm just going to simmer it for a little bit. And um, I've got one working on the back, so I'm going to switch that out. But I think, is it is it time for fry number three? It's time for fry number three. If you're just um, tuning in, it's Friday, Friday, and we are having a ball. <laughs> we're having a blast Friday, Friday. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. And yeah, I'm getting started on my third French fry recipe. In this fryer, we have some French fries that are cooking up. And I'm about to make some hot fries. I love spicy food. I just really love anything spicy. Um, and this one's a really simple recipe. We're just going to add in a bunch of really hot spices. Um, so let me grab a bag, and down into here, I'm just going to put a couple teaspoons of crushed red um, chili flakes, some smoked paprika. I like the smokiness of paprika. I think I it's really that. yummy. Yes. Um, a little cayenne pepper, or a lot of cayenne pepper, because <laughs> I like it spicy. Yes. I wasn't kidding. Um, Jill from Yorktown, Indiana says hello. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. And Cheyenne said hello from her and her kids in Foster, Wisconsin. Ooh, hello. Hi, Cheyenne. Adding in some salt and some pepper. Which one was my cocktail? My potato cocktail. Is this mine? Yeah. Here. All yeah, right, eat. and I think we're ready to drop in our fries. I'm going to let these drain for just a second. Nice. 
Um, VJ is asking, what about kimchi fries? Ooh, that sounds That delicious. sounds really, really yummy, I love too. Kimchi. And Jillian says that she likes fries um, with hot sauce or covered in cheese, ketchup, spicy mustard, and mayo. That's like the whole <laughs> condiment drawer of the refrigerator. I like your style. <laughs> Ooh, you can smell how spicy that is. Ooh, yes, I can. All right, Would it be the first these? time we've choked on cayenne pepper in this kitchen? Kimberly says that her mom just joined watching for the first time, so we want to shout out her mom, Karen. Hi, Karen and Kimberly. Thanks for watching. Hello. Happy Friday, Friday. All right, I'm about to shake it up. Are we ready? Last. Shake it up. Fries. These are our spicy hot fries. Oh, I like to call them fire fries. Fire fries. Isn't that fun? Fire fries. So good. So these are sort of like an ode to buffalo. Oh, those look so good. Let me see, let me see. I would just oh. go sit on the couch with this bag Ooh, and eat it's them. spicy. Turn on a good movie, <laughs> or a bad movie, I don't care, I just wanna eat fries. I just wanna sit on the couch and eat fries today. Um, the recipe for the fire fry, fire fries? Fire and fries. And all of these french fry recipes are gonna be up on the website just a little bit later, so make sure you check those out. What do you think we should serve these with? Ranch. Ranch. <laughs> Do it. We have a joke in here that whenever we say ranch, sometimes Grant thinks, if you say ranch quickly. It, it sort of sounds like my name. It sounds whenever like his anyone name. says ranch, I'm like, what? <laughs> and we talk about ranch <laughs> in here a lot. Funny. Gabby said, what about chicken cheesesteak? Oh, that's our coworker Gabby across the street. She mm. was just telling me that she gets chicken cheesesteak and she like scrapes it off the bread and puts it onto her french fries. That sounds really good. Now eat this? Yeah. It's really good. Very spicy. Oh my God. I'm. Uh, this is my this is my favorite day of work. This ever. might be the best day of my life, <laughs> and you guys are witnessing it on. Facebook. <laughs> You're here. It's, we're live on Facebook for the best. Day. Sorry about my wedding. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. This is the best day of my life eating French fries with Grant in the kitchen. Anna said, um, "Good morning from Hawaii. Aloha, Anna." Aloha. And she loves our ideas from today. Let us know if you guys cook any of these over the weekend, because Friday Friday doesn't need to end here. I think this is just a jumping off point for a fry weekend. Yeah. Right. You can have fries any day. It doesn't have to be Friday. Exactly. Um, Sheena said she loves spicy fries. Yay to fire yeah. fries. And she's and Linda said that we're funny. <laughs> we, Thanks, Linda. We think we are. We're glad somebody else <laughs> I'm, does Yeah, I'm glad too. that you um, agree with us. Oh, I know. All right. So are you guys ready to see the last stage of chili fries? To, uh, I am. I'm calling them dinner uh, chili cheese fries because if you came to my house, I would be happy to serve you this for dinner. Um, I took these out of, actually, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna melt my cheese sauce. This was just a roux. Um, I made one of these yesterday. We, had, we were celebrating uh, the dog days of summer yesterday. Mm -hmm. We made tons of hot dog recipes. And I made a cheese sauce to go in a stuffed pretzel dog. And it just I just made a basic roux, so it's just butter and flour. And one way I like to make my roux slightly bit healthier is I cut the milk in half and I use chicken stock. That's so, such a good idea. yeah, so it's, I mean, it still gets a nice thick. Because you are making oven fries, which is relatively healthy. Exactly. And then cutting that. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're cutting the, the roux with a little bit of chicken. I said, guys, I, I warned you all, we were playing girl math. Rachel would approve of this so much because she loves playing girl math. <laughs> um, uh, shout out to a fellow Ohioan, Nancy Hi. from Portsmouth, Ohio, Hi, Nancy. watching today. And Jamie said, what about buffalo chicken fries? Yes, Jamie. Jamie. I like where your head's at. You're a genius. Um, you know what's funny? We were talking about fries. Um, down in Philly, they do crab fries. And that's just fries tossed in like Old Bay seasoning. I love those I thought those you were going to say tossed in crab. And I was like, mm. Oh, no. The old, the old Bay is good. Yeah, Old Bay sounds delicious. So I just melted I just melted in a little bit of really sharp cheddar. So you don't need to use that much of it. I think I just use about a cup or a cup and a half. And that's going to give you a really nice, creamy, cheesy sauce. Um, Monica commented and said, what's the best drink to have with spicy? fries. That one. This one right here. <laughs> it's a sweet uh, tea peach vodka drink. It's so delicious. It's very good. You know why? Because vodka is made from potatoes. And we're, today we're celebrating the potato. These are what my oven fries look like after about 40 minutes. See how those crispy good, those are? They smell so good They too. smell so good. It's that 24-7 grill, like that grill seasoning that's so good. I'm going to plate us up a little bit of these yeah. so we can eat these. Um, and they got, yeah, the oven fries just get, they get so crispy on both sides when you toss them. You don't even those miss that they're not fried. Um, how do you say that name, Jeanette? Tate. Tation. <laughs> from Idaho. Somebody from Idaho. Yes! Hello. We Thank love you. your potatoes. We Thank were you waiting. Thank you so much, Idaho, for giving us these wonderful fruits or vegetables. <laughs> whatever they are. Thank you, Idaho. Thank you. Potatoes um, are the best. They are. They're my favorite food. People ask us, me all the time. They know we work at the Rachel Ray Show. They know that we're always around food. People constantly want to know what my favorite food is. And I hope I don't disappoint them when I say that it's potatoes. I love them fried. I love them baked. I love them in any way, shape, or form. All right, guys, so this is the chili cheese fry coming to life. Um, I topped it with a little bit of my chili, and you can see I let that cook out, and it got really nice and thick, so mm -hmm. we're not going to have any soggy fries here. 
Uh, I'm gonna grab a little I don't know if you guys noticed, but these french fries are so spicy that I'm literally sweating, but I, know, I can't stop too. eating them. I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but these are really delicious. <laughs> I'm sweating too. All right, so now I'm gonna drizzle that with some of my sharp cheddar cheese sauce. Oh my god. I can't believe I just made an excuse to eat french fries for dinner. Let's do it. Or for breakfast. For what breakfast. time is it? It's uh, one-ish. <laughs> it's morning in Hawaii, so. Oh, good so, morning. Perfect. Good morning. Did you hear how crunchy that was? It was really crunchy. So nice and crunchy from the oven. Oh my gosh. Check that out. These are so... This is so delicious. Delicious. Um, Donna commented and said she loves carne asada fries with sour mm. cream, tomato, green onion, cheese, and jalapeno. I like carne asada and I love french fries, so I can't see why that wouldn't be delicious. I think the moral of the story, I think what we all learned today, is you can put anything on a french anything. fry. Anything! And we'll eat it. And, we'll, and yeah. love it. Yeah. We hope you can't you go wrong too. with the french fry. I know. These recipes are all going to be up on the website a little bit later. So make sure you catch those because these are some. I'm just like staring at that pile of french fries. I'm. This is just the best day. Um, like we said a little bit earlier today, we are going to be live on Facebook again next Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yep. We've got some really fun ideas planned. So make sure you guys come back. We might just do fry, fry, french fries all next week because this was just the funnest day of work. Mm -hmm. And as, oh, C Crystal commented and she said yummo. <laughs> yummo to you, Crystal. Thanks, Crystal. Yeah, certainly a yummo moment in here today. Thank you guys for joining us. We had so, we had too much fun today. Mm -hmm. um, and as always, if you like what you saw today, make sure you like, comment, share, and cook. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye. Oh, my God.